We're artists. If you cheated on your partner, would you tell them? Oh! The wine is coming out. Oh my god, I put way too much. I'm not marrying him. I'm not marrying him. Hey guys, with Zoe, you know those like pottery painting places? We're gonna go do that. Okay. I also have no artistic ability. <laughs> I was just gonna so. say, we're not artistic <laughs> at all. And then after this, we're having a wine and game night with our friends. I ordered this card game and I wanna play it in this vlog because it's really funny. It's like dating scenarios, like what you would do. Are we playing that with the boys? I want to bring it too when we go. And I want to no, play it while we're so while we're funny. making our food. If it comes, Amazon said it was going to deliver by 2 p.m. And it's noon. Our appointment for this place is at noon. Oh, yeah. So we're going to go. No promises that it's going to be good. But we found like artistic Pinterest inspiration photos that we're going to try to copy. And yes, it's still like summer out here. Ugh. Okay. We have to choose our piece. Um, I want to do like, I think that big ass mug up there. Oh my God. Look, this is like a honey pot. That's so cute. We decided we're also going to do aesthetically pleasing shot glasses and I'm doing a mug. Zoe's deciding on which she wants. I feel like this looks cute. I'm going to put a bunch of fruit on this. Oh yeah, and it has little handles. Yeah. That is so cute. It's our table. Oh, should we sit next to each other? Yeah. Oh, we have to choose our color. I need red. I'm trying to get into painting this whole thing pink. Ooh, watery. I was supposed to use this much water. <laughs> if I paint it all white, can I go over it with other colors and it'll look yeah. fine? Yeah. Time for me to start. I love how you're just pouring it directly on there. I like that technique. Yeah, I was like this. <laughs> well, you're, you have a lot of surface area. Yeah. Did you take ceramics in high school? No. Oh, I did. I was so bad at it. I almost got a C. And you're asking me the question. I almost got a C. But then at last second, my project came in clutch, so I ended up getting an A. Oh my God. But I had a C like all semester because my projects were. She would always be like sloppy, not good line work. Because <laughs> we'd have to make the actual ceramic like with our hands, so mine would be all like lumpy and it would look disgusting. <laughs> I would always bring it home. My mom would like put it on top of the fridge. She's like, Oh, this is cute. What is it? What did you take as your art? I took. What are the options? Photography, didn't you? Oh, I took photography, yeah. Are we okay, supposed to smooth it? Oh my god, I put way too much. Oh my god. There's literally like milk at the bottom of my thing. Are we playing together or separate today? Uh, separate. separate. You guys need a reminder on how the paints work at all? Maybe. Yeah. These are the smaller models. You're okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're good, you're good. So good. I'm sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> Thank right. you. No problem. If you guys need anything, just let us know. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You guys just took quite the tumble. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm Hopefully you're okay. Here on its own. Oh. Hello. Is there something on the lens? Now I have to get into the design. Oh my god. I can't make a straight line. We have started doing some art on there. She got this stamping tool. So he's like a speed painter. She's already got her whole design on there. And all I've got is the frim. <laughs> I need to hurry. Look what I did on the inside. Heart cherries. Update, the strawberry bases are on. Zoe's looks very good. I just messed up at that. Zoe's plate is complete. I think it's cute. Very cute. Wait, there you go. We shall see how it looks after it burns. I started my shot glass, painted the inside blue, and I wrote cheers on the bottom. So when you take it, it'll be Cheers. And Zoe's really focusing. She's writing all over that thing. Zoe shot glass. She did racing theme. Look at how cute. Very cute. Lights out and away we go. And I did flowers. And those are finished two products that need to go in the kiln. So I'll show you those when they're fired in a few days. Wow. We are artists in our Van Gogh era. Okay, we decided to go to Panera. Got the two. Pick two. Tomato soup. Baguette, Greek salad. She got mac and cheese and Caesar. It's so good. And lemonade. And I got water and I'm jealous. It's to get the pizza stuff. Look how many pumpkins there are. Oh, we're going in the exit. <laughs> Gotta go over here. Check out. We're rolling. Hi everybody. We don't need an intro. We already vlogged. Hi guys, we're back from the grocery store. We set you up. We're gonna be cooking or baking. We got. Is it cooking or baking? Because we put it in the oven. We're baking the dough, cooking. 
I don't know, assemble it. Pizza crust, pre-made, duh. You really thought we were gonna make that shit? No. Too thick crust, too thin crust. A singular green bell pepper. That is mine. Pizza sauce, cheese, basil. Sh oh, dessert. Strawberries with chocolate. chocolate. We're gonna make chocolate with strawberries. As we do this, actually, I thought it'd be fun to answer questions from this game. It's conversation and chill for combo and chill. 99 controversial questions to talk about. I wanted to do it with Zoe because I think it'd be funny. So yeah. Wait. Whoa! Oh my god. Oh. ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, keep in mind, neither of us cook. Ever. Yeah. We're going to bring this game when we hang out with the boys, too. Oh, I already got a hole in it. Yeah. Should your partner be allowed to go through your phone? <laughs> Absolutely not. No, no exceptions. I mean, it depends on the reasoning. Like, if you're going because you think I'm being sus, then like, just don't be with me because that means yeah. you have trust issues. Yeah, I think if you're gonna do it sneakily, like behind my back, no. Yeah, but, but if you, you wanna... if you say to me, can I, can we please just like, can you show me your text? Yeah. Can you show me who you're Snapchatting? Yeah, I that's feel like... different. But if I'm like sleeping and you steal my fucking phone, yeah, yeah, no. Like you shouldn't be able to my phone sitting on the counter to grab it and just go yeah. through it because you feel like it. But I like also, we need to have a conversation about it. Because I, I have nothing to hide, but I'd be offended that you just like thought you were allowed to like go through my shit like that. You told me to roll this into a ball and I feel like I just fucked I rolled it into a ball and then it's mine immediately like spread out again. I'm making mine into a heart. Do you want to make yours into a heart? Yeah. Yours is just like not stretching. Maybe you grab one side, I grab the other and we pull. Why is it so stiff? I know. Let's just scratch this one. Oh! If you cheated on your partner, would you tell them or would you withhold the information to prevent them from getting hurt? Oh. Which I would, I would never do that. I would never do that so, either. Either way, I think I'd tell them. I think I would have But if it was a long term relationship and I was like, it was a mistake and this will ruin everything. But I think the guilt would keep me up at night and eventually I'd be like, I have to tell you something. I would be like, oh, he's gonna find out. Like, I, yeah, I'd be on edge the rest of our relationship. I'd be so paranoid. Like, he's gonna yeah. find out. He's gonna find out. And I just wouldn't be able to enjoy it anymore. And I think that's just cruel to them too, especially yeah. if you're in love, which I don't think you would be if you cheat. But I think you definitely. I think I'd tell them. I feel like I would just never put myself in that situation. Yeah. So it's hard to like relate to it. I would never cheat on someone. And like, if I felt the need to cheat on them, obviously I just don't them. need to be in that. Yeah, place. obviously didn't love them that much. Are strippers allowed at your partner's bachelor bachelorette party? If so, would physical contact be okay? I say this all the time. The bachelor party is the true testament of like, do you want to marry this person? Because imagine if my fiance posted, last night of freedom, I'm not marrying him. I'm not marrying him. I'm either. literally not marrying that man. If he posts some last night of freedom bullshit. Yeah, I don't get that. that what do you mean? We've been committed. dating yeah. for this long. What do you mean? First of all, and why would marrying me make you not free? What, so you can hook up with other people? Yeah, that haven't we been dating for years? <laughs> yeah, but if there were strippers there, I feel like that's kind of weird. Unless it was like a joke, his friends are like, go on stage, go on stage. And we're all like, ha ha ha. Like if I knew it was happening, but if like the next day he's like, oh my God, I got this lap dance last night. I'd be like, uh, uh, why, what? Because you know damn well if you were like, oh yeah, some guy grinded on me at the club. They would you know like, he's gonna feel some type of yeah. I think I'm good. Me too. Kay. Yours is looking way better. I'm gonna make cherry pepperonis. We're making these cute and aesthetic. The boys better appreciate. We got some drama over he here. Said, I said, I don't know. I don't really care. Bro, oh, he's so, such a baby. He's like, such a puss. Like, it's so unattractive. Like, anyways. Anyways. Question. Oh, your love language. Oh. Gifts, words of affirmation, physical touch, acts of service, or quality time. What is yours? I oh, like I acts of wait. service. Like if you do something for me and I don't have to like tell you or ask you, I love that. Yeah. And like just spending time with me. I show it by gift giving for sure. Anytime I see yeah. something in the store, I'm like, oh, Steph would love this. Yeah. Like I should get it for her. Yeah, that's very true of you. How I show and like to receive my love is quality time. Literally when I like someone or like even when I'm friends, all I want to do is like, hang out with you all the time. We don't even have to talk. Yeah. Just like, like as long as we're there, like with the boys, how I always tell them like, they're always like, oh, we don't ask you to hang out because we're not doing anything. It's like, no, I, I want to just sit in your just apartment. Sit. Yeah. Like I want to just sit in your, my, your apartment with you and like be and, friends. Yeah. Like, that's fine. But also I feel like words of affirmation I like to receive. Like I like them telling me, okay, I feel this way. Yeah. But it can't be in a cringe way. Like I can't with the good morning, sunshine, angel, baby, perfect. Yeah, yeah, Whatever. Yeah, yeah me too. I just need like, 
I do need a little bit of words of affirmation. I feel like everyone does though. Yeah. I love love, love languages. I know. Because they're actually so true. Because you and your like significant other could think that you're loving each other best you can when the other one doesn't feel that. Like they feel like you don't love them. They're showing it in different ways. Like imagine you're just buying your partner all these gifts because you thought of them and they're just like, why won't she just tell me she loves me? Yeah. And you're like, no, this is it's me like, telling me yeah, that I love you. Yeah. Like that shit is so true. That's why you have to know your partner's love language. So like one of my worst fears, like my partner being like, my love language is physical touch and words of affirmation. So then I I know that in order for them to feel loved, I have to do those things, which I'm not good at. And I know that. At least like we're self-aware. Is having sex with a friend off limits for you? I mean, <laughs> what do you think is worse? Physical or emotional cheating? So like a love affair or sex? Low-key a love affair. Me too. Imagine they're telling another girl they love them. <gasps> yeah. I actually learned about this in my relational communication class. Men think physical cheating is worse, and women think emotional cheating is worse. They did studies on it. But yeah, I'd rather my partner have sex with someone and then come to me and be like, it did not mean anything. I mean, obviously, I'm still breaking up with them. But if they told me, I've spent time developing a genuine connection with this girl, and I love her. So Bye! Are you kidding? I'm so mad. That's so much worse. Uh, bro, this is us. Oh no. Well, not us, but like if this were to happen, it would be between oh. us. If your partner of six years and your best friend of 15 years were drunk and made out for an over an hour last night, who would be the first thing you end things with? Fuck. I, I think know. I'm going boyfriend. I think I would go Because it's still boyfriend first. of six years, which yeah. is very long. They're the ones committed to not cheating on you. Yeah, yeah. But it, it should be committed, but yeah. still. Yeah. So I'd end things with my boyfriend and then immediately go to my best friend, my best friend's house and literally go buck wild. Like, how could you do this to me? How could you do this to me? I have never fucking done this to you. Your whole world is over after, I mean, not actually, but like you just lost your two most important people in your life. Please don't do that to me. <laughs> I would never do that to you. <laughs> as soon as your friend starts dating someone, in your head it becomes off limits. Like you don't even. Oh yeah. Like you can look at them and be like they're attractive. Not even attractive. Attractive is a weird way to put it because I'm not like attracted to them. They are handsome. Good job. Yeah. But I don't want them like that. Yeah. Me too. Two pizzas. Done. Okay, oh, I'll record on my phone and put it in. This is Zoe's pizza. How cute is that? So cute. Okay, this is mine. I went more for taste than looks. I wanted like little hearts. Yeah, I wanted peppers on my pizza, so I made them into little, a little heart. Oh, I it up. Big six to ten minutes. Oh, what temperature? Ooh. What? Without without putting stuff on it? Oh. Pre-bake pizza dough six minutes, then add toppings. It has to be fine, right? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna make the next pizza off camera, and then we'll come back when we're making chocolate covered strawberries. If your partner has never posted any pictures of you on their social media, do you consider that a red flag? Yes. Fuck, that makes me feel bad. Well, no, I just shouldn't say yes because <laughs> I'm in my situation. It depends. First of all, like if you have a following, I would want to keep it private because I don't want people having an opinion. Either way, I like to keep my relationship private. I'm go totally going back on what I said. I literally said yes and then I'm like, actually. Well, because it, it depends on the context of like why. If they're just like a normal dude and they refuse to post you, they're just like very adamant. Like they, you, you want to go on a date and he posts a picture of like his meal and purposely like, doesn't get with it. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah. like, okay, this is a little bit sus. It's, there's a difference between posting you and hiding you yeah if your friends know then obviously you're not keeping them a secret yeah but if he doesn't bring you around his friends yeah it depends it just it depends. depends but also if on social media he never posts like he has three posts and they're from 2016 yeah then, then i'd be like oh he just doesn't post or if we've only been talking for like two months i'll be like okay i don't expect you to post me yeah but if we've been together for like six months now and you're still keeping me on the low? Yeah, I'd be a little. But also, there's the situation of you don't trust your partner. Yes. You don't trust what they're doing. It's just so situational. It's so situational for it to be considered a red flag. Yeah. It's a red flag if they refuse and they downright like avoid it. Yeah. Or like, and if you post them, they don't comment, they don't repost. Like, they don't yeah. want it to be associated. Me, I make it very clear from the jump. 
I'm sorry, but I probably will not be posting about us. And honestly, you should thank me because you're we'd be get bombarded so with questions that you don't want other people to be a part of. Like this should be something for us that we can like enjoy in private. But like if we did get a cute aesthetic photo, I'm not gonna avoid posting, posting it, it. You yeah, know, yeah. like if it like yeah. feels right. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not gonna post you just to be like, look at my boyfriend. Yeah, no, I'm not I someone who starts from the very get go. Yeah, posting. Because, because that's the thing, like I'm very apprehensive because things don't work out and people get so attached to your relationship if you post about it yeah especially even you know, like your family and yeah shit. so if you post about it everyone knows you're together even if they don't get attached you know those people that like you know they're dating because they always post together and then all of a sudden they stop and you're like oh, you're my, like, god. oh my god like, oh my god they stopped posting like, what happened they broke up like i don't want people thinking about that i don't about want either me. i don't want the so, opinion i don't want any of it yeah social media is one of those funny little things i think like social media is strictly for other people so yeah if you want to like flex your relationship then it's like especially if it's your job yeah if, like you're posting for other people's enjoyment and to me my relationship is it's for, myself. for myself it's not for exactly. other people and the next question is would you wait and stay loyal if your partner got five years in prison <laughs> hmm I'm not, what did they do yeah what did they do to get their five years in prison? like why like embezzlement did i something? like did they were they committing crimes behind my back because then no because like what the fuck i don't even know you yeah what what if it was in his past Okay, but he got, he met you. Okay, he got caught like tax evading or some shit 10 years ago and he got caught while you're together and now he's five years and you love him, like you saw him as your husband. And he's like, <laughs> I'm, will you wait for me? I don't think I, I five years is a long time. time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's so fucked up. But I wouldn't cheat on them. I think I'd go into it being like, we're either trying to stay loyal. Like I might end up sending you a letter being like, saws. Like, <laughs> or we just go into it being like, let's try again when you get out. You're gonna be a changed man, I'll be a new woman. Let's see if we're still compatible when you're out of prison. Yeah, because five years, someone could change. <laughs> you're getting so, so much. much. You're spending five years in prison. Is it okay to break up with someone through text? Personally, I would rather someone low key break up with me over text. <laughs> Because they then be face they face don't have to them. see me cry. They don't have to see my emotions. They don't have to see shit. Like they, I could just be like, okay, block. Yeah. And it's over. But like it's a long term relationship. I don't know. I just really don't think I want to get broken up with in person. To be honest, I kind of would appreciate it over text. I would appreciate. That's it. a very unpopular. <laughs> appreciate the embarrassment. Yeah, like save me the embarrassment of crying in your room and you being like, okay, are you gonna leave now? Like <laughs> see ya. Like you know, like I don't want that. But I think it's like. I hate breaking up with people. It's so awkward, bro. Or phone call. Yeah, phone call. That's more appropriate. Or just like seeing someone and it's been like two, three months. It's not that deep. Yeah. I feel like you can send them a quick text. Hey, this isn't really working out. This isn't what I wanted. Have a nice life. You yeah. don't have to be like, let's go out to dinner. And then you break up with them after. Coco. Is that your name? Is your name Coco? Coco. Name a deal breaker for you in a relationship. This should be our last question. Is this like before you're together or like while you're together? You're like, okay, should we do one of each? Yeah, so before you're together, what is gonna stop you from going further in the relationship? And then while you're together, what are you like, okay, I have to break up with him, there's no going back. A deal breaker before we're together, if we have very different beliefs and morals and we can't see eye to eye in a lot of situations. Yeah, I get that. Then I feel like we're destined for failure because we're just gonna keep arguing. We don't see the world the same. If I find out before we're together that we just don't have the same values, then I would probably break it off. Yeah. What is yours before? I feel like if we, I, the same thing if I don't like believe the same shit. There's like other little like red flags. Yeah. Which you can watch our girl talk video to hear all our red flags and shit like that. Mm -hmm. we, did, we talked about all boy stuff in there. Since I've been in like a relationship for like a long time, on and off, like I can't even think of what. Mm -hmm. Like a talking stage problem? Yeah, like a talking stage problem. Oh, a talking stage problem? I can tell you a fair few. <laughs> Mine would be like when you're getting to know someone and you just feel like they're lying. I've had that yeah, one. Yeah, if they've lied to you if in just the talking stage, they've already lied. Yeah. You're like, what the fuck? How am I ever going to trust you? Yeah. That's true. Like, even if it's just minimal and they yeah. think it's not important, I'd be like, well, why did you have to lie about it? A deal breaker when I'm already with someone though. Cheating for me. If they cheat on me, I feel like that's everyone's answer. So I'm trying to think of a different one. I hear them talking shit about me to someone else. Or downplaying your relationship. Or talking to other people and being like, yeah, like they just like, like I hear them being disrespectful towards me about like to other people. That would definitely be a deal breaker for me. I think a deal breaker for me too is like if they disrespect like other women. Like if they talk shit yeah. about so many That's other people. That's classic. 
Well, that's like where I say with morals and beliefs. My camera battery's gonna die, so I'm gonna charge it. The pizzas are gonna come out of the oven soon. And then we're going to see our friends. So, yeah. hope you enjoyed this talk and our cooking slash baking slash strawberry making. They're baking and they look so good. The boys, we just did square because we didn't try very hard. <laughs> Guys, I'm so fucking mad at myself. Me and Zoe are here, ready to film a video for her channel. And tell me how I brought the pizza and I forgot the strawberries in the fridge. I set out a container and everything like I was like, okay, don't forget the strawberries because they're in the garage refrigerator You're gonna forget those so I open up a container. I put it on the counter. I open it. I opened it up ready to put it in I fucking left alone and then we didn't even realize till we got here I put the pizzas in the oven. So I was like do you have strawberries? No, actually I don't I don't <laughs> I'm so mad. That would have been so nice wine chocolate covered strawberry It'd be like that ratatouille scene where he's like And, and then, then it's like so <laughs> Oh also look at our assortment of games these are just a few of them. I have even more in this cabinet. These are all like the fun drinking ones. Waiting for the boys to come and they're bringing boxed wine. We each brought a bottle. Okay, the boys are here. Say hey guys. But we're about to film for Zoe channel. Look what they brought. Finished filming Zoe's video. Now the wine is coming out. Does this have a cork or is it a screw? It's a screw, but like I can't. You're gonna have to try. Let me use my teeth. One and done. There's like a cork it over here and open this. I've no nails. Imagine I chip my teeth like you. Yeah, tell them the story of how you chip your tooth. <laughs> uh, basically, yeah, tell them how. it was at Zoe's place. It was a long night. She had her fitted racing helmet on, and I really wanted to wear it, but she was wearing it. And I went to just rip it off. I was standing over like this, and I yanked it straight up into my teeth and <laughs> fractured my two front teeth. They were, and guys, they insert were picture here. The photos. There crazy. is like a crescent moon where his teeth were supposed to be. Yeah, it oh didn't feel God. too good. That sounds and so And now they're re -chipped. But at least There's you were drunk, so you didn't get like full feeling. Yeah, it was a surprise when I woke up and it had no front teeth. Guys, look at this. Wait, Let me see. Oh no. mm -mm, that might be three. That might be four. We have the setup of the pizzas. That's, that's the man pizza. But my crust <laughs> broke all over there. The Where's pizza, so now there's like sprinkled shit. You don't have cutting boards? Mm-mm. -uh. Say goodbye to the heart. Well, it's one in the morning. Like doesn't even care. Like fire and rain. Fire and rain. Last clip, we were crunk. It's a few days later. <laughs> and our pottery's ready. Okay, do an unboxing while I film. Okay, okay. You just unwrap like it's Christmas. Okay, okay. Have you already looked at all of them? No. Oh, it's mine. Look at how cute. That's so cute. It says cheers. What the fuck they wrote on it? How Ew. cute. I'm scared I'm gonna drop it right now. Imagine. <laughs> That would be my end. Oh my god, I was nervous that the pink wouldn't show up, but it did. Wait, it's not focused. Oh my god, cute. That's such a cute pink. Imagine us at a party with our ceramic shot glasses. Wait, why won't. Oh, cute. Wait, the lighting is shit. This is what I'm gonna have my morning coffee out of. This is the real big gun. That looks professional. Right? Wow. Okay, artist. Like, I wanna do this again already. Me too. Should we go tomorrow? No, well, that's the end of this video then. Thanks for coming on a crazy fun day. Yeah. We did a lot. Next vlog, you'll see me drinking my coffee out of this thing and everyone's gonna be like, where did you get that mug? And I'm gonna be like, actually, for the friends giving a vlog, I'm gonna be like, I made it. Thanks for watching. If you wanna follow me on my social medias, they're all linked down below as always. And I'll see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye. <laughs> crazy new crazy outro. <laughs>